Hey YouTube, it is what it is. I go by the name Emo, aka the Township Footy. And today, uh, I'm gonna show you how we did our bribe for Heritage Day. Yeah, gents, in case you're a little bit of a little bit of a very small, 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 Oh, for you for later, Rock Holo. So, I got it. I got it. I got it. I I wish I was a little bit of a little bit of this one's the house of the and then the Tenagam. The Very sweet. In uh, maybe what? One minute time. Or maybe less. Guys, I just want to say it's tough teaching an unwilling learner. Because KG go umpamaha, umpamaha, umpamata, tagamu. I have to do everything. God, I'm sweating right now. Hey? So, my the chicken is gonna come, okay? I just flipped it and then, um, I'm gonna at least see the temperature is down a little bit and then I'm gonna go for for so afterwards. Yeah, finally, those mutton forks, they're over there. The heat is a little bit low, but then, as you can see, it's packing it up again. And then, more the chicken. It, uh, it's not over grilled, uh, but it was charred a bit because of uh, the high heat. But uh, I just put it aside so that it can be able to cook on its own without the high heat. Yeah, I'm doing this on my own. KG is not helping at all. So please don't say you are brying if you're not looking like this, especially under high pressure. So this is what it looks like. It's not an easy job to be a bride master, but I did it uh, without any help from anybody. I was here with my friend KG. He didn't help me out at all. He's in the kitchen, which is a cool temperature, and he's busy trying to cook the pap. I don't know if he's going to succeed. He's supposed to cook the chakalaka as well, but by the way it looks, I'm going to have to cook the chakalaka as well. Uh, as far as things are going um, everything is sizzling over there everything is sizzling over there the chicken needs some more time uh, I'm gonna show you how the chicken looks afterwards but it looks fine for now it just has to be in a lower heat space and then uh, uh, yeah I'm just gonna leave it to cook so that we don't eat any raw chicken you don't eat raw chicken at all so um yeah the, the 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 sausages the mutton sausages are coming okay as well um i mean for them it's okay high heat will be good for them because anyways what they do is that once they get some fire they start to drizzle that oil in them and then it makes the temperature to go high so but it's fine uh as long as you just keep your hands on the deck so yeah that's how it is YouTube it is what it is I hope your pup is coming okay I hope this one. what I hope what this one. okay uh, you see the type of people that I'm working with right now and then what I've just done I dissected uh, the chicken in half so the part that I know is probably 
maybe almost done I've set it aside and then this is the chicken breast I think it's gonna take a bit longer for it to be okay uh, otherwise the sausages are coming okay um, this the chicken I'm gonna keep it longer I'm gonna keep it longer in here and I'm gonna spread the fire beneath here just so that you know it just cooks from the warmth it doesn't have to cook from the fire uh, because if it cooks from the fire it's gonna start to burn it's it has this color already now I'm gonna show you uh, I'm taking the sausages out uh, but then I brought the meat out from the from the mic micro oven here it is uh, this is the meat that we bride earlier on uh, it wasn't like perfectly cooked but because of the heat that it preserves we know it's gonna cook from it so I'm taking this taking out the sausages and the sausages with their heat they will add on to the heat that is needed inside there this is how I do it I don't know how you do it but this is how I do it I know everything is everything is perfect right now it's only the chicken that's remaining and uh, we already have a plan for the chicken because you need to have a plan when you're praying yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this guy the only thing that he does is to complain you see i have a problem with this chicken because you see it's still showing that it's raw like especially where the fork points are it's a bit raw and i'm just gonna put it here and then this one is almost done as well so but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spread out the coal underneath here so that it's even and um it doesn't have a high pressure going on so that's it we're done uh all the chicken is in there and uh if it's not cooked well enough we're just gonna keep it in the microwave no we're gonna keep it in the microwave for maybe about five minutes it'll be done by then it will cook from its own heat and um, we're gonna start with the bigger portions anyways the ones that are done so this is how you make a braai yeah so there's my gin it needs some more ice uh, it's very hot over here I think it's about 30 degrees yeah i know you're listening to music uh i uh, know let me see let me see let me see in your pot please oh no no this one this one it's the pop okay so this is the pop and uh it's all kg's work and over here we're making something to go with the pop so it's potatoes and onions because we don't have ingredients for the chakalaka what are we going to do we're going to add in some onions, I know, uh, we're going to add in some tomatoes in there and then add on some more spice just to give it a little bit of color. And then in the microwave, we have all the meat that we're grilling outside. So it's just cooking inside there. On the plate. Okay. There we go, and then we're gonna put it in there. There's potatoes. The potatoes are almost cooked, uh, but then when we let this cook, the potatoes will be cooked as well. So that's gonna make a nice gravy for us to cook with the to, to, to eat key. with the pap, pap, and okay. uh, now we have the pap, which KG just cooked, and then uh, KG can you just focus here. This is gonna be, it's supposed to be a chakalaka, but it's not a chakalaka, <laughs> you know? Uh, we just use potatoes and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just need a chakalaka. But no, we, 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 we're still gonna go in with the achi. Okay. So, cup. And then. Now, break, break, the point. We, okay, so now we have the chicken. Don't focus on me, focus on the chicken. I'm focusing on the chicken. So. 
Ah, uh, the, the, the knives are not so sharp, eh? I have a problem with him about this. And we're gonna talk about it days afterwards. So, I'm separating the wings from the breast. There it is. Come and, come and look closer so that they can see. You see? It's cooked. It's cooked. Perfectly well, cooked. Overcooked. It's not overcooked at all. Okay, and then we still have this, the cotton leg, and uh, the cotton leg can still be divided again. And if you look, this is still juicy. Okay, look. It's still very moisture. So from now, every one of us has to pick a pick. Has to pick a, a piece. A piece. Hey, pick a pick. Yeah, pick a pick yes. or pick a piece. Um, I'm gonna go with the drumstick first. The rest I'm gonna take over to go home with. He's not gonna stay with the food. Oh, he, he thinks he you thinks wish. he's so lucky. You wish. Okay. You wish. <laughs> So I have a piece of sausage and then I'm going to have a piece of uh, this um, lamb, lamb what, what do you call it, lamb, lamb, lamb chop, okay, and a big piece of this, <laughs> ah, yeah. more I more know, I know, I know, okay. but it's fine, I'll leave it over, so then, okay, so okay, okay, Where's the spoon? It's a little dog. Oh, I wait. No, it's like. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh. Where's your Come spoon? Come over, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And it's a ring is a little more. Ah, anyway. Sure. Okay. Watch. Don't look at me. Look here. Look. Yeah, there we go. Sure. So this is how it looks like. We have a drumstick over here. We have the sausage over here. We have the lamb chop over here. And uh, we have the piece of steak. Uh, because of, you see, it's not like bent at all. And then we have the pop over here. And then we have or whatever that you're supposed to have all of this with and the gin so it's a good job proper braai I'm gonna eat now okay so right now I'm gonna start with the pop pop and take a little bit of you this soup is so hot right now so but yeah this is it This is the potato that comes with everything. Mm. Okay. Okay. Not enough salt. But then okay. we're gonna, on the potatoes okay. and everything. And then and and, um, this is the drumstick. Mmm. <laughs> Proper. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm this is proper as I go into the pop again. Mhm. Mm mhm. Let me try the sausage. Mhm. Mm <laughs> the sausages are good, man. Mm, even the dog is agreeing. <laughs> like, hey, why are you leaving me out? <laughs> okay, so. Same thing that I was doing, but I'm going to go to the lamb chop. Taste it. 
The lamb is supposed to be. The taste is uh, a bit gamey. Um, I'm glad that we didn't put in so much um, spices on it uh, that you can still feel the gamey part of it. Uh, so it's only, it's only uh, maybe you can feel the salt and a little bit of spice. So it's, and then doing the same thing again before I go on to the next meat. Mm hmm. Now the next meat is this big piece. <laughs> ah. Mm. This was perfectly marinated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish it was a bit warmer. It's a bit colder because this is the first one that we did. So we didn't warm everything up before we started to eat. But it is perfect. It is perfect. This is how you make it bright. Yep. Okay, Jizo. For sure. As you could see, that's what we did. And uh, I mean, uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you can. Uh, yeah, that's how it went. By the way, I just wanted to say that uh, with my previous clip uh, with the Bri, I couldn't do episode two because somebody stole my phone and they stole my and they stole my hard drive and they stole my uh, laptop, so I couldn't update the rest of it, unfortunately.